Let's take a look at how we can hide components on a drawing view. First, I'm going to show you the old way that we used to do this. So we used to take a part and we would move it to another layer. So it's on layer one, we would put it on layer two, have layer two visible. Then when I go into my drafting, I'm going to add another ISO view. And from here, what we would do is we would use a tool called uh, Visible in View. So View, More, Layer Visible in View. And I would say I want to turn off Layer 2. Hit OK. Update my views. And there you can see that that, um, that piston or the caliper, it has disappeared. There's an easier way to do the exact same thing. I'm going to click Base View. Once again, we're going to use the ISO. But this time, I'm going to come down to the settings and I'm going to choose some objects to hide. So I'll choose that main one. There's an easier way to do this though. I'm simply going to add another base view. Again, isometric, but then I'm going to roll down to hidden components. So I basically want to choose a part that I want to have hidden. So that's what I'd like. Drop that down and done. It's pretty cool that you don't have to put everything on multiple layers if you don't want to. The question naturally would be though, all right, I use that, but I changed my mind. I do want to show that part. On this one, it's easy. I just use the layer visible in view command. For here, all we have to do is click and then edit the view. We can come back and I could add other components or I can remove that one, update my views, and we're back to good. We appreciate all of your time and your attention. You'll notice we've got this little QR code so you can scan that to learn more. Or if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. Thanks everybody. Have a great day and stay safe.